I'm here with Dr Andrew Moore who's already presented three times at our conference down in Hobart. He's going to tell us a little bit about the take home messages he'd like our delegates to have. Well, it comes down to some fairly simple things really. The first thing I'd like to just say is that what we're trying to do in the world of evidence and pain is to understand clinical trials and uh, be able to make sure that what they're telling us is the truth. And it's been a tremendous dynamic over the last few years. We've found various ways in which they can tell us things which are perhaps a little bit untrue. But that's done and dusted and we're aware of it. The other thing we're doing it now is to look at the issue of the trials from the patient's point of view. That is, what do they want? And what they want is more than 50% pain intensity reduction. They want a lot of pain reduction. So what we're doing is taking all the trials that we can get data from and looking at it from the patient uh, perspective. What you find when you do that is that the patients who get uh, good pain relief, more than 50% pain reduction, also improve on things like fatigue and depression, the quality of life comes way back up, they can work, they can function, all those things come good. That's the good news. The bad news is that that only happens in a minority of patients, even in acute pain, but in chronic pain, uh, certainly a, a, sometimes a small minority. But uh, what we know is that if that benefit doesn't occur quickly, then it's not going to occur at all. If it does occur quickly, it tends to last. And so what we're able to do is say, if it doesn't work, stop treatment and then try something else. If you do that and think about it, what you're saying is it's not the patient's fault if it doesn't work, it's not the doctor's fault, it's not the drug's fault. All you've got to do is to say it's the way it is and what we've got to do is to switch around a lot more to try and find a drug that works for that particular patient. Oh, that's fantastic. That sounds like great news for all the cl clinicians and patients. Is there any other message that you'd like to share with us? Well, on a slightly different note, uh, perhaps I would just say this, that when you pull all, all sorts of evidence together um, and you've got enough of it, you're able to perhaps see things which, or say, see things clearly which you only saw poorly before. Uh, and in the area of acute pain, uh, where we've done an awful lot of work in the Cochrane collaboration, you know, hundreds of clinical trials, many thousands, tens of thousands of patients, is that we're now seeing that certain types of acute uh, pain drugs are really much better than others. And these are combination drugs, particularly combinations of paracetamol and ibuprofen at low doses, and also fast-acting NSAIDs, um, things like the uh, ibuprofen arginine or lysine or caplets. They're providing very, very good pain relief very long-lasting pain relief and they're doing it at very low doses so that for example 200 milligrams of fast-acting ibuprofen is as good as 400 milligrams of standard ibuprofen and if that's a message which we want to take out across a population it means you'd be getting much better pain relief at lower NSAID dosing in the population that's a really good message. That's fantastic look thank you so much for your time I know we've worked you hard down in Hobart and hope you get a chance to enjoy it while you're here. Thank you very much.